Hey guys, Kyu here for the Button Smashers, and we're gonna do something pretty, pretty cool. My boy Shadow Elite HD did a video where he was going over what's on his Vita, and as the Vita has had a beautiful life, let's get my Vita on. You can see it blinking before. You know, it's had a beautiful life, and it's pretty much one of my favorite handhelds, my favorite systems, consoles of all time. I thought, why not do a video as well? You know, a sort of follow up to Shadow's video. If you haven't seen Shadow's video, I'm gonna link it somewhere here. You can check it out. But basically, I'm gonna do. Oh, it switched off again. I'm gonna do. You know what? What's on my video? You know what's what's on my video today? Today, uh, March the 9th, Saturday, Saturday, March the 9th at uh, 9 a.m., 9 12 a.m. Uh, what's on my video? So let's just get into this, right? So this is my video. This is my my beautiful little video. Uh, that I have here. It's a beautiful handheld and uh, there's a lot of games on it There's a lot of games that I have on my Vita and there are games that I used to have on it that are no longer on it I have a I think a 64 gig memory card inside of it, but Because of you know limitations of the memory card, you know 64 megabits is not a lot in this day and age I've had to delete a couple games that were on the Vita. So yeah, let's just jump into this right so <clears throat> So I have this first folder here that you can see on the far left this is mainly games that I've been considering reviewing over the years and stuff like that or that I am working on reviews for. So for example, uh, you have what you call this, uh, Clodon, that's in there, um, Drive Girls, which that was terrible, um, Mob Love, which I'm playing still, and it's just a really long visual novel. Tokyo Tattoo Girl is just not a game. I, I've spoken about this enough on a podcast. It's it's just, that's trash. Don't, don't pick that up. Um, Punchline which I am playing on the PlayStation 4 and Vita at the exact same time and that has been a delayed review for ages now. Um, you know, the thing is, is that when you start working on a game and then something else comes out, it's just like, ah, oh, I don't have the time. I'm going to have to put one thing on hold and Punchline got put on hold for a bit, but I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to get back to it and get that out, out of the way, but I can't say so far. It's a, it's a, it's a fun um, visual novel. It's, it's got some really interesting mechanics and stuff inside that. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, color, color X Malice. I've not played that one yet. Uh, that's on my video for a while. I haven't played that one yet. Farm Simulator 2018. Love that game. Love me some farming. That's really really fun. Uh, it's the best farming game on the, the Vita right now, and it's something that I, I, don't, I never thought I'd be into farming games. But after pure farming and stuff, I was like, man, I gotta get in on this shit. Uh, but yeah, and then of course the God of War collection. I picked that up on a sale recently, I think. So I don't think I'm gonna review this. I just think it's just in there. Um, I'm leaving the JRPGs for last. Let's jump to the other one, the one that says other, right? So in here, this is where we got my P Live games, my sports games, my other games, all that kind of good stuff. So you got Sinner and Kagura Estival Voices, one of the few games that I've platinumed. Um, then you have Valkyrie, Dr um, Valkyrie Drive on here as well. I don't think I platinumed this one, but I think I'm close to platinum. And I, I could if I wanted to. Um, there's Shanti, which I'm a huge Shanti fan. Shanti, oh, I think this is Half Genie Hero. Yeah, Shanti is really, really awesome. Love that 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 game. Um, of course, you gotta have a FIFA game in there. You gotta have some football. So FIFA 15 is fine. It doesn't matter which FIFA game you have on the Vita. All of them are pretty much the same. It's just new kits and new, um, new lineups. So yeah, with the Vita, just have whatever um, FIFA game you want because it's not really up to date. Uh, and then there's this guy a tree. I have not finished this game. Like I, I've not even like I started it and then I loaned it out to friends and then I just never got back to it. When I got back my copy. Uh, I just haven't gone into it. I think it's in the video right now because the game I used to keep in the video all the time was Persona, Persona 4 Golden, but that's not in my video right now because uh, my best friend has that right now and he hasn't finished it yet for whatever reason. He's had it for years, hasn't finished it. Kidding, what you doing, man? Um, but yeah, basically, uh, this guy uh, uh, is here and then you have Toho. The Toho games are trash. Like, I'm just putting that out there. Double. Um, double focus, pretty much all the Toho games are trash. I can't find a good Toho game to save my life. Like, if you were hanging off of a cliff and they said, well, here's what, I'm going to pull you up. If you can find me a good Toho game, you're going to die. You're dropping off of that cliff. The Toho games are trash. A <laughs> uh, Rose in Twilight, I reviewed this game. A Rose in Twilight did not like uh, a lot of it. And uh, you guys can check out the review if you want to know what it's about and all that kind of stuff. So check that out. Um, same for SO vs. I did a review for that and Valkyrie Drive. There's a review for that as well. I'll try to link reviews for the ones that I have reviewed. Um, this one, uh, Hakiyoki um, Kyoto Wins, this is a visual novel, but it is, uh, what do you call those ones that are for, for ladies, um, where it's like the, you're playing from the point of view of, of a female 
character uh, Otome game, an Otome, an Otome game. So this that's an Otome game, and I really want to play it because uh, yeah, I, I want to, you know, I'm into the ladies, but I want to be non-biased and see how well I would do an Otome review. Like I would be like, how would a how would a straight bloke do an Otome review? You know, that's the kind of thing. So at some point, I'm gonna try to see if I can get along to that one as well. All right, so let's start with the JRPGs. Let's go starting from the the right here, from the left. Sorry. We have Caligula Effect, the Caligula Effect, which de that game is out on the Switch right now. And the review, I have a review for it on, from the Vita. You guys can check out the Vita review that I have up. I will probably have a video for the Switch version that just highlights the differences at some point. But so far, the Vita version is, and the, the Switch version are pretty much the same. There's just like one or two additions that have been added and some, you know, like graphical enhancements and a change of camera perspective for the, the fighting system. So pretty much it's the same game. Utuari Romono, Mask of, of, I think, is this Deception? Let me see. This is, uh, let me, let me look at this. This is so tiny. Uh, Mask of Deception. This is Mask of Deception. So, man, I love the, I love the Utuwari Romono games. Oh God, these are these are some of the best tactical RPGs out. And the only thing is that they're also visual novels, and they they take so long to progress. But oh my God, they're good. They are reviews. There's a review for these up. Um, I think it's Mask of Deception and Mask of Truth. Um, check them both out. Really, really great games. Um, Operation. Um, Babel, I think there's a review for this on the channel, so check that out. I didn't do a review, but it's up on the channel, so you guys can check it out. Um, Persona 4 Golden, I can't believe I've never reviewed this game. Like, literally, cannot remember. Um, I think I did, didn't I? There's a written review, I don't think I have a video review. So, on the website, on our website, thebuttonsmashers.com, you'll find a written review for this. But, I should do a video review, shouldn't I? I think I should. Akiba's Beat, there's a review for that up here as well. And it's, um, it's not as good as the one before it so akiba's strip was better than akiba's beat they're just putting that out there god wars future past love this game this game is my shit love this this is really good um tackle rpg i reviewed this one as well really really like it um neptunia uh let's see this this is neptunia versus vs sega hard girls i think there's a review for this on the channel as well i didn't really like this game that much but i can see why some people will like it it's just not my thing i, I really can get into it um, Criminal Girls 2 Party, I think, is this one Party Favors? I think this is Party Favors. Oh my god, I love this game. I, I love, this is one of my all-time favorite video games. Like, if I were to put a top 10, uh, it would be probably like Persona 4 Golden and then Criminal Girls. Like, that's how high I rank Criminal Girls. This game is insanely good. Like, really, 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 really good. And it's, it's very fan service, you know, it's very fan service and stuff like that. And one of the things that I regret is that at the time when the review for this one went up, because the review's on the channel, I handed it over to someone else to do. Like, I wrote the review and then I gave it to someone else to, to do the voice fit. And he was not having any of it. Like, he just... He was he didn't agree with some of the stuff I said in the review and it, it just it sort of bl um, bled out into the review and I've been considering over the years to redo the review myself like just do it over with my own passion with my own love for the the Criminal Girls series but I just haven't gotten around to it but I just want to put that out there if you've seen my Criminal Girls um you know Criminal Girls 2 review uh it, there's another voice on there it's not my voice but the the words are mine, but the delivery, man. You know, when it comes to a review, the delivery is what happens. You know, you gotta be like, Arr! you know, that's just not there. So yeah. Ah, oh, gotta. Um, you know, when I said before, like, you know, if I ranked um JRPGs or I ranked games on the video, like top games, Criminal Girls would be number number two. Number three would be um the Tales. Uh, sorry, the the Trails games. So Trails of Cold Steel one and two, totally. They're in. Then they're number. The number I can't call the trails game as one like the ones the the, the um the cold steel games that's one game you know it's it's not oh you get cold steel one and don't get two no 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 you get all the cold steel games it's 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 one game so all the cold steel games count as one and they're amazing like you have to play them to, in order and you have to play them all and it's just I love me some cold steel so yeah the number three on my Vita must play list of games all right so let's just jump in the RPG two folder now, this one isn't as full. But with the games that are in here, mm, magnifique! So yeah, Mask of Truth is in there as well. I just mentioned that one before. And my, oh, Tokyo Xanadu. Now this is a game that, to me, it's it's so good. And in a way, I kind of rank it over Cold Steel. But Cold Steel has more. Like there's, you could play more Cold Steel. You can't play more Xanadu. Xanadu is just one game, you know. And so. 
for I I, I sat. I, how can I say? Oh, I'm so conflicted, but I love me some Xanadu. Tokyo Xanadu is amazing. Really, really great. There's a review for it up on the channel. Check it out if you haven't. Same thing for uh, Mask of Truth. There is a review for um, Utawari Romono Mask of Truth, which I had to learn how to say that word Utawari Utawari Romono. Um, I had to practice when I did that review, and um, and I'm so happy I can say it now. Anywho, East Eight. Lacrimos of Dana. This game, one of my all-time faves. Uh, man, top five, top five on the Vita. I I would say the Vita version is ranked a bit lower because of the frame rate, but that's not to say that it's bad. It's it's just the others just run better, and um, and I love the others a little bit more, just a little bit. But I love me some East Eight. A uh, preferable console to play it on, I would say, would be the Switch, cause handheld for life, and it runs really, really beautifully on the Switch. But Definitely East 8 Lacrimosa of Dana. And then this one, Demon Gaze 2. My boy Shadow Lee did this one. This one, there's a review fit up on the channel. Shadow did the review and uh, he did a great job. Shadow is a, a total bamf. So, yeah, you know, also reminding you guys, go check out Shadow's video if you haven't already. Uh, his video of his video, what he has on it and all that kind of stuff is amazing. Also, um, I have other Vita games, but I don't know if I can show you them because, well, yeah, they're not installed on my video right now. But I know I have a lot of other games. Some of them are JRPG, some aren't, and all that kind of good stuff. The problem with the Vita is that when you delete a game, it, it deletes it from your Vita. Like, you can't delete the gameplay files and keep your save files. So you have to basically back up your stuff. So I have some games backed up on my hard drive, but not necessarily... Uh, I can't see them on my Vita. You know, like on the Switch, when you delete a game from the Switch, the file still shows up. Like, you can see the icon for it. On the Vita, it's different, so you don't really see that on the Vita but uh, yeah this is my Vita this is what's on it right now as of today and hopefully you guys enjoy this video my Vita is almost dead the battery just like it, it came it went red and then it went back green I don't know what's going on with the, the Vita but anyway this is my Vita this is what's on it and if you have a Vita if you still love your Vita because I still love my Vita my Vita is beautiful and it's actually the handle that I take the most with me when I go traveling and I go about and stuff like that because it's it's basically it's a powerful handheld and it's actually very portable unlike my switch my switch is powerful but not as portable as the vita i can easily fit a vita in my pocket so you know put it in its case and just fit it in my pocket or something like that or toss it in my backpack and it just works and it and it's full of games there's a lot of games and over my 3ds i it the vita is still it's cake it's king i should probably do one for the 3ds as well but either way this is what's on my vita as of today and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let me know let me know what's on your vita if you have a video what is on your vita today leave it in the comment section below and as always if you enjoy this content make sure to like subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll always know when we put up new content and i will see you guys in the next one